Hey, it's Clyde Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PPHM. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I've done this analysis quite a few times in the recent past, so that's where all these red and green line uh, annotations are coming from. But definitely need to get things updated here after uh, the, the nice price action today. So the first thing I'm going to do is just some house cleaning here. Going to get rid of these lines down here. Yes, they still pertain to the chart, uh, but they're not really relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint and not wanting a million lines everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion, just want to try to keep this uh, analysis as clean as possible. First update though that does need to be made comes from a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So for those of you that have watched the videos I've done in the past, hopefully you remember me talking about right around that 42 cent level as resistance, but now that the price has broken above it and closed above it, this would be considered the ideal level of support. Me and Fusa, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? If the price can stay above 42 cents, that would make the chart look very, very powerful. But if the price does drop below it, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. That would just be the ideal situation in terms of, you know, making the chart look the most attractive. The other area of support to keep an eye on is going to be that pink line right there. That is the 200 period simple moving average. And again, that follows the same principle. That was a level of resistance for a little bit. But now that the price is above it, you want to see the price stay above it. From the big picture perspective, it's really all about the 50 day simple moving average, which is that purple line right there. That line keyword they're being moving average will continue to move upwards like this over time. So if you picture that as a tread line, uh, then you know as time unfolds, as long as the price remains above the uptrending tread line, well, therefore the price is uptrending, and therefore that's what truly bullish moves do, right? And that's why I love charts. It kind of they kind of insult your intelligence when you look at them in certain ways. So uh, you know, depending on what your perspective is, you know that's up to you. But from big picture perspective, bulls are in full control as long as the price remains above that purple line. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, not shocking at all to see where the price got rejected from today. I promise I've not moved that red line from the last video. If you don't believe me, that's fine. You can just go back in the archives and, and look at it. But I talked about 45 cents here as resistance, which is exactly where it bounced off of today, which makes sense. I mean, you can see the price struggled with that area over here. So that's going to be public enemy number one going into tomorrow. Although I do want to add one more area of resistance now that the price is starting to show some signs of strength and that next key level up there at the 48 cent mark. So 45, 48, next couple levels of resistance. All in all though, very nice day. It'll be interesting to see if the bulls can build upon this momentum to close out the week tomorrow. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.